Okay, so um, good morning everyone. I'm Councilman Rory Lantzman. I represent uh, this neighborhood in New York City Council. And I'm joined here with Assemblywoman Emily, Emily Rosick, who represents neighborhood in the Assembly, um, various civic leaders, representative from Community Board uh, 8, uh, to talk about um, a persistent problem here on 179th Street, which is long past uh, where the city should have taken care of the, the problem. You'll see behind us um, on this street, it's a one-way street, um, in a quiet residential neighborhood, uh, one block off the Union Turnpike, uh, depression, a cave in, a sinkhole. I'm not quite what to, sure what to call it uh, from an engineering perspective, but for the people who live on this block, it's a very serious uh, nuisance and inconvenience, and really uh, getting to the point where uh, it's potentially dangerous. Uh, it certainly could damage someone's car. And my big concern is someone who is coming down 179th Street, as many cars do, to get to, to Union Turnpike and to cross Union Turnpike, because a lot of uh, the streets that connect to Union Turnpike don't have where you can cross over because of the median. Um, they're not familiar with the street. They'll be driving along. They'll see this strange, bizarre indentation in the road, and their first reaction will be to swerve. And they could crash into a car that's parked, or God forbid, um, into a kid that's playing uh, around the street or, or, or a resident um, on, on, on the sidewalk. This has been going on now for uh, over a year. Um, the Department of Environmental Protection is pointing fingers at the Department of Transportation and vice versa. I, I don't doubt their earnestness in their desire to uh, solve the problem, um, but again, this now having gone on for over a year, it's really time to, to, to get a move on things. Um, and uh, figure out what is causing the problem and coming up with a plan to fix it quickly uh, before something bad uh, really happens. So uh, I know you all want to hear from the residents on, uh, on the block. Uh, Nilly, why don't you uh, uh, say some words and then we'll hear from, from the folks who actually live here. Great. Well, I just wanted to thank Councilmember Rory Lansman for bringing us all together and so many neighbors who turned out on this issue. Um, you know, this is a chronic problem on 179th Street, and we really hope that the city will do its uh, due diligence and share in the responsibility of fixing this issue. It is only worsening, and as our great council member said, you know, this affects not only the homeowner, but anyone passing by, driving, pedestrians. I know that I run around the neighborhood, and so to have a sinkhole, um, in the middle of the street is really, really hazardous um, and could bring really big harm to anyone, um, whether you're a pedestrian or a, a driver. So for nearly a year this has been going on and we hope that both GEP and DOT will actually talk to each other and uh, bring a solution to this issue. So thank you. Um, before we hear from resident, I just want to uh, introduce uh, Martha Taylor, who is a vice chair of Community Board 8. Correct. And um, Community Board 8, we're in Board 8's jurisdiction, um, and they've uh, um, written to the, the city to try to get a resolution we as, have, yes. as, as well. And, uh, yeah, I am representing Board 8, and this is a street, as Lori said, that goes right through. So it's a busy street, and of course there's a commercial strip here, and it makes an even busier street and the community board is very anxious to resolve problems as soon as they occur. You've hear, heard the old saying, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But this is broken, and it's got to be fixed as soon as possible. So somebody's got to take responsibility, whoever it is, and just fix it as fast as they can. Thank you. 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 Thank you